going to start by Hiram's mayor, Mayor Doris Debbie, uh, who's going to present the, the state of the city to us, and then I'll later be uh, introducing really a man that needs no introduction, Mayor Ward Austin. Mayor Doris Debbie has been a mayor of, of Hiram since March of 2013. Committed above all else to bring better quality of life to the residents of Hiram and of Paulding County, Mayor Debbie is committed to growing Hiram and keeping it highly attractive to incoming businesses, maintaining Hiram's historical heritage, involving the city of Hiram at every level of government, business, and community activities and initiatives across the county, maintaining a balanced budget, maintaining the highest standards of accountability of the city to the public. 29-year resident of Georgia, Mayor Debbie was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and has been married to her husband Dave, a school physical education teacher, for over 33 years. Their son David also works in, as a public school educator and is a personal fitness coach and trainer at Higher Fitness Center. Mayor Debbie is a member of the Paulding County Chamber of Commerce Board, the Paulding Industrial Building Authority, Paulding County Airport Authority, and works with a number of community service organizations and is a member of last year's leadership called in class. On behalf of Prof. Associates in this great chamber, I'd like you to give a warm Chamber of Commerce welcome to Mayor Doris Day. Good afternoon. They say if you do something 21 times, it becomes a habit. Well, this is only the 19th time that I've spoke, so it's not a habit yet. Um, boy, I'm still holding the cross, and my knees are still shaking. But thank you for allowing me this time and opportunity to speak on behalf of the city of Hiram. It has been a pleasure serving the city as the 31st mayor, and for the last 19 months I've held that position. I look forward to the next coming year. And we have a beautiful PowerPoint, so please watch the PowerPoint, not me. <laughs> First, I'd like to recognize Groff and Associates for sponsoring this luncheon. Thank you, Ed. And I'd like to say a bit about Jim. Jim Groff and the City of Hiram have had a long-standing working relationship. We have depended on him and his company to assist us in several projects not to mention his representation of us, the City of Hiram, on the EDO board. So please extend our thanks to Jim. <clears throat> I would also like to thank Philip from George Pat. You've always been there for the city and me, either of us when we needed anything. It could be about trees, which we know we've had a lot about that, utilities, or for me, overcoming um, obstacles that we ship up one of them being taking that first step when he got his zip line. So, thank you for the encouragement. And then there isn't enough to be said about our public county chamber. Carolyn, you and your team at the chamber always go on and above what is needed to be done. We are in Paulding County, are very fortunate to have you and your team. Thank you. And to our county chairman, Mr. Austin, thank you and your commissioners for the willingness to work with the City of Hiram's Council, the City Manager, and myself to move not only Hiram into the future, but also the county. We all had a first when the county and the city met to have a joint meeting. I don't know if this has ever happened before, but we may not always agree on things, and that's okay. What we do agree on is that the city and county have to do what's best for its citizens. Last year, I told everybody that the city of Hiram went to sleep, and we woke up a brand new city. New mayor, new form of government, auditor, prosecutor, solicitor, attorney, city manager. Well, we haven't gone to sleep yet. When anything new is born, and we have a beautiful baby there, or changes, there will always be some small bumps in the road. But they are easily overcome, and you can have a very smooth ride after that. At this time, I would like to introduce the member of our city council for Hiram. Uh, here today present is Teresa Filio. Thank you, Teresa. And not in attendance due to work obligations are Mayor Pro Tem, Derek Battle, 
Councilmember Erling Graham, Councilmember Pat Rollins, and Councilmember Kathy Boca. We also have a member of our ethics board here today, Ms. Helena Fitzgerald. Thank you for coming. The city on Hi of Hiram is moving on up, and it's just not to the east side of town, like the song says. Each department has made moves to better their running, to make it more efficient, in order to better serve our citizens. Starting with our police department, right now we, I have the pleasure of introducing to you our new Chief of Police, Chief Todd Bandy Zandy. Chief started with the City of Hiram on a very famous day, April the 15th, so the page of taxes. Um, the council and I would like to say thank you for all you do for our public safety officers and everyone in your department. The citizens of Hiram really appreciate it. I know you've been here only a very short time, but you've taken over the reins and the future is looking bright, so thank you very much. Here are a few things about our police department that we have done over the past year and have been implemented. Our LPR, License Plate Recognition Reader, it is now in operation and has resulted in the recovery of seven stolen vehicles, several stolen vehicles, vehicles operated without insurance, and the apprehension of individuals that wanted, are wanted by the law enforcement. This recognition reader has already paid for itself, but since being put into operation. Live scan, and this is something very, very new, was purchased in the amount of $9,500, and it serves the purpose of electronically fingerprinting the vendors at our police department instead of us having to transport them over to the county sheriff's department. This saves the city money in the way of housing costs, fuel, and taking an officer out of service. In addition, the city can now use live scan to fingerprint individuals that are requiring prints for their jobs or for those requiring background checks. These services are provided at a minimal cost to the city. We also have a take-home car policy, and that was put into place. All the officers are assigned their own vehicles, and they each take responsibility for those vehicles. It also helps, it's, it's very instrumental in retaining our officers. The City of Hiram is now offering free driver safety program designed for teenagers to become safe drivers. These classes are conducted at Hiram City Hall Police Department training room. Uh, motor vehicle crashes are the number one cause of deaths in our teenagers here in Georgia. And the University of Georgia Traffic uh, Injury Prevention Institute has a new statewide program called Georgia Teen Rides with Pride. Pride standing for parents reducing injury and driver error. And on another note, this morning I was watching the news before I went in, and there's Sandy Springs on the news showing that they're doing the same program, which we started three months ago. So it's taking off, and it's a very good thing for our teenagers. We, we started the program in August, and classes will continue one evening every month in Hiram, and it's for the Hiram and Paulding County teens, their parents or guardians. These are free classes. They target parents, guardians, and their teenage drivers, or those who are preparing to learn where their learners permit. These classes will address the driving attitudes, behaviors of teenagers, and Officer Ashley Gillum and his wife have set up these classes and they're both certified trainers on this program. Our new police chief has also formalized an agreement with a child that is missing, ACIM. It's an alert program that has a high-tech method for searching locally for children the elderly, and other type of missing persons. How it works is when the Hiram police get a call and they're notified of a missing child or another missing person, um, they gather this information. They call ACIM, they give them the information, and it uses a sophisticated um, mapping system. And within minutes, a customized recorded message detailing the person's description, and the last known location, and it includes the Hiram Police Department's phone number, is sent out to thousands of people. 
any Hiram resident or anyone else can register at www.achildismissing.org to receive an emergency alert using a cell, home, broadband, IP voiceover, or even for hearing impaired devices. So far, this nationwide is a, it's a nonprofit, and they have been credited so far this year with helping 1,320 missing children or elderly be recovered. So it's a really good thing, so please look into it. The police department celebrated Night Out Against Crime at Ben Hill Strickland Park, and they're working on putting the next Citizens Police Academy together. And that's fun, I went through it last year. You learn a lot going over to the 911 center, seeing how they operate. It was just a great thing. The police department, along with SAMS, and thank you, Miss Sherry, who's back there, participated in a softball tournament at Taylor Farms Park in July. And now they have a bunch of other businesses within the city of Hiram that want to take on the police department in softball tournaments. But it was, it was a very good event. Many of the city of Hiram employees also played, and Sam's treated us to great food and entertainment. So thank you very much. Um, at the Pawnee County Chamber of Commerce, they awarded Lieutenant Brian Avery with an outstanding service to the Citizens of Pawnee County Award, which he also received in 2011. Our police department received a $3,000 grant from Greystone Power, thank you, Ed, for the DARE program. I would also like to mention the police department's code enforcement DARE officer, Officer Larry Kay. And thank him for his three years of dedication to the department and to the DARE program. This year, Hiram Elementary School dedicated their 2013 yearbook to Officer Kay, as he is known by the students. His last name is Kaminsky, and I still say it wrong, so they just call him Officer Kay. Uh, one of the things is the students, he does many things that he contributes to the school. And here's a quote from print, uh, Principal Paul Wilder. He gives so much of his own time to participate in many school events. And he has demonstrated that he truly cares about the community of Hiram and Hiram Elementary School. Larry is also going to uh, the Georgia Association of Code Enforcement, GACE, to become certified in code enforcement. He has issued over 700 warnings to violators in the city of Hiram, and that's four square miles. So he's been doing a great job. Another officer that the city is very proud of is Sergeant Jesse Dunbar. For the last two years, Sergeant Dunbar has received the Silver Award from MAD, the Mothers Against Drunk Drivers, the George Branch. To be eligible, you have to receive this award you must have at least 50 arrests for DUIs. And this year, 2013, he has already made 49 DUI arrests. And that's just in the city of Hiram. It's not called in County. So I know I feel better about those drivers being on the streets in Hiram and also called in County. The department also received another grant for $12,000 from the Georgia Chiefs Technology Association to purchase laptop computers for use in our patrol cars. Just a few stats. The police department responded to 11,690 calls for service. Out of that, they read 4,641 citations, and 93 of those were DUIs. There was 1,386 speeding violations, and 75 violations that were stopped for traffic infractions, resulting in a lot of felony arrests. Our accidents, which sometimes, unfortunately, result in some fatalities, have decreased. And statistics show that with law enforcement, how it plays a key role in this reduction of fatalities. The Criminal Investigation Division, which Lieutenant Avery set up, investigated 294 cases, which resulted in uh, 63 apprehension of suspects, ranging from crimes of robbery, assault, and other crimes against person or property. So as you can see, our police department continues to move forward to keep up a changing time, and it also uh, continues to make our citizens much more safe. 
Um, a heads up. The City of Hiram's Police Department, in conjunction with the Governor's Office on Highway Safety and the Western Regional Traffic Enforcement Network, and 32 other different agencies, including Paulding, Dallas, Canton, Temple, but there are 32 other agencies, will be conducting their third annual safety road show. Remember this date, October the 24th. Do not drive through Highway. Do not go on Highway 92. So, if you do, you may be, you may end up like her. They put me in jail last year. So, October 24th, very important date. We have a new department at the City of Hiram, and it is Support Services. And we have a new director, it's Jason James. Jason couldn't be with us today due to be a court date in Hiram. So there's arraignments going on today, so he had to be there. I attend as many court arraignments and trials as possible, and I want you to know that this team, they run a very oiled machine. Yes, we do sometimes run into difficulty. We only have a small amount area, and like we can only fit 100 people in our courtroom. Sometimes there's 200, so there are 100 of them standing outside. But everybody there does everything possible. Everyone, including myself, pitch in to keep our court running smoothly and efficiently. And so this is what Jason wanted me to tell you about his team in support services. Municipal government can be compared to the changing of the wheels of a moving train. The train keeps rolling day and night, and it is our challenge to keep that train moving forward, utilizing the resources and the opportunities as presented to us. As the city grows, we sometimes find it necessary to address issues in the structure of our government not because it will save money or increase efficiency, although it's a good victory when both of those two things come together, but because it is the right thing to do. The city of Hiram is a certified city of ethics. Sometimes changes need to be made in order to ensure <coughs> that we're above reproach. One such change was to separate the municipal court from the organizational structure of the police department. So in March of this year, we created Support Service Division. Utilizing existing staff, council approved a new department head, and for that, and it was all encompassed in the city of Hiram. Now Support Services takes care of the Hiram Municipal Court, the GCIC, and Records Management. Since then, Hiram has created, entered, I'm sorry, into an intergovernmental agreement with Palm Beach County Jail to house our inmates with Hiram assuming the responsibility for the medical cost. In May, with the leadership and attention to detail, our GCIC Terminal Agency Coordinator, Tanya Patterson, and assistance from our police department, the Hiram Communication Team passed its triennial audit by the Georgia Crime Information Center. Court Services has been successfully, um, what they've done is updated the bond schedule to include recent improvements in the municipal code. And to increase the efficiency of our court, we have now, um, we're able to take credit card and debit payments, which makes it a lot easier. We also went to a new Windows-based software by increasing, this will help us increase more efficiency. As the legal landscape continues to evolve, our court adapts to new challenges under the mission to provide fair, accurate, and efficient service to all citizens while still protecting the court integrity and maintaining public confidence in the court's ability to be impartial and dispense justice. It is able to do so because of commitments from some employees, and one of them is Brandy Bray that he wanted me to mention to you. She will be with the city for 10 years in November. So welcoming changes and challenging growth provides Hiram with continually moving forward like the train in our logo. And with the help of the Almighty, we will be able to utilize the resources and opportunities which we have been blessed with. Um, Mr. Palmer, who is sitting right over here, please raise your hand. He is our uh, Public Works Director. 
I would like to thank you and your team for the ongoing commitment all of you have to this city and the citizens. There's not a day that goes by that something doesn't come up to change your team's schedule. I can see you over there. Okay, to change your schedule. And nobody gives a second thought, they just do their job. And a manager can't ask anything more than that, then their people just jump in and keep on going on. We have completed the highway, gateway, welcome to Highland Sun, finally. Located at the easternmost boundary of the city. Through partnering with Fairway Investments, Croft & Associates, FL Graphics, Outdoor Solution, and Elrods Garden Center, we were able to place a beautiful and welcoming monument at the primary gateway to Hiram, Dallas, and Pauling. Of note, this project allowed us to extend the initiative of the Chamber of Commerce Leadership Pauling Class 22, Pauling in Bloom program, by planning 800 Stella Day Oro Day Lilies to complement the aesthetics of the monument. We are currently in the process of total reconstruction of Seaboard Avenue and Powder Spring Street. This project will add much needed sidewalks extending the network of existing pedestrian accesses closer to historical downtown while improving stormwater and water infrastructures in that area. We continue to address the needed infrastructure improvement with other capital stormwater projects and we're working with our local businesses through education and inspection programs to ensure that our commercial and industrial areas do not negatively, negatively impact our residents below us downstream. By mid-October, we will have completed the renovation of the building formerly known as the Old Regions Bank, located across from the Hiram Douglas, our Ben Hill Strip and Senior Memorial Park. The project will create a new community activity center, which will be used as a rental facility that they can have parties or whatever they would like to do in there. The facility will also fit, uh, have two rental rooms, a craft room, and an office space. And we plan to have that rental calendar ready by the end of the year. Okay, we established a new sanitation franchise this year. Not a great topic to have to talk on. But the state legislature substantially changed the landscape for solid waste management planning in Georgia. The law states that it is the intent of the General Assembly that every effort be undertaken to reduce the statewide per capita base, the amount of waste being received at disposal facilities. Local governments have to identify these areas in their jurisdiction that are not appropriate for waste handling facility, but they also have to provide a 10 year to show us that they can handle the waste collection capability and also a 10 year disposable to make sure that this happens. Municipalities have to provide some level of solid waste removal to become a certified qualified local government and to be eligible for grants and loss distribution. An outsource contract is the only equitable way to facilitate this operation. And free recycling was also brought in through this franchise. Hiram takes the approach to protect our eco footprint before the sudden appearance of a problem that could have been seen or unavoidable. Our events and activities in the city of Hiram are always on the move and participating at every opportunity, we have a strong desire to promote our community. In the fall, the city hosted a beautification day. In addition to our biennial cleanup day, the high school volunteers, boys and Girl scouts, community volunteers, and city staff all gathered in the park and flowers. In April, the city, along with Paulding County Recycling, hosted an electronic recycling day. And as you can see from the picture, it was a very successful day. Our involvement with the school system, thank you, Cliff, has improved greatly over the past two to three years. We see this interest in our youth as and our community as a lasting investment in Hiram and Paulding County. We really love our Hornets and we have tried to step up our participation in all their activities. Hiram's High School's um, homecoming parade was yesterday. Glad to see you back here today. Uh, October the 2nd in historical downtown Hiram. It featured the Hornets football, baseball, basketball teams, cheerleaders, homecoming courts, and representatives from the junior ROTC, color guard, and the Hiram High Marching Band of Gold. 
there were other clubs. The parents and Hiram supporters were all up there cheering for our local high school. In another awarded organization, we're very proud of our Hiram Roritan Sports Complex. It continues to grow and it provides sports activities throughout the year. This season, they're providing football, cheerleading, and track to over 600 Hiram and Paulding County youth. Additionally, the city of Hiram provided its third um, eight-week Hornets summer camp. The incredible staff at Camp Hornet executed a very successful program for 53 Hiram and Paulding youth. The program will continue in 2014, and we've been very fortunate that this staff has come together each summer. Specifically, I want to recognize Kathy Stansel, who has been our camp director for all three years. She does an outstanding job training and directing the young uh, men and women who are on the staff and contribute so much to the community and to these children. We had to postpone our 4th of July celebration to September the 6th. The Hiram Red, White, and Boot event was very successful. We had several local food businesses and several nonprofit organizations participating. Entertainment and fireworks were outstanding. A lot of community participation. That's what the city of Hiram likes. They like to have that participation by everybody. And over probably over 3,500 people attended. Our police department also used this event as an opportunity to do some emergency training with other public safety groups participating. This helped provide the community with a much safe and secure environment. Uh, we will also be holding the city's second annual candlelight vigil. In conjunction with Chef Express Ministries and Paul D. County Domestic Violence Task Force on October the 11th at 7 p.m. at our Venual Strickland Senior Memorial Park. Last year, over 200 people attended and participated in remembering George's victims who have, who have died as a result of domestic violence and celebrate those who have survived. Senator Bill Heath was our guest speaker and he will be doing the same honors again this year and also Mr. Mike is going to be speaking. One of our community favorites is our Christmas tree lighting. It's held in historical downtown and this year on Friday night, December the 6th, we will be having that. As you all know, that when you enter Paulding County from the east, Hiram is a stretch of popular and convenient commercial, industrial, retail, food, service area, and a lot of businesses. Our city provides Paulding County community with convenience for the shopping, entertainment, and recreation. In 2013, the city issued 549 business licenses, and this year, 103 of those were brand new businesses who had never had a license in the city of Hiram before. In our admin department, we continue to improve our services so that our community can read from it. In the efforts to remain transparent and provide effective communication, we make um, use of our two Hiram signs, one at the park and one at the gateway to Hiram and Paulding County. Our website is a very important source for city news, news and services. We also have just finished publishing and distributing the second annual Hiram Herald for 2013. Furthermore, in an effort to keep stride with the ever-changing mandates and legal requirements um, with the city ordinance and are in line and consistent with the needs of our Hiram community, in March of this year, we adopted and updated the set of city codes and now all these can be accessed through the internet. There's a quick link there that can guide you to them. I'm almost done. Hiram is a growing, maturing, developing city. We are very serious. We are very serious about continuing to look to the future and educate ourselves in the growth and development of business in Georgia. Four elected officials from the city of Hiram and our city manager attended the 2013 Georgia Academy for Economic Development. Currently, Paulding County and the city of Hiram are working together on the uh, joint urban redevelopment plan along with the Georgia Department of Community Affairs. So what is an urban redevelopment plan? It's a general blueprint to redevelop targeted areas in the public to have it invested and redeveloped. So the purpose, it gives the city a broad powers to redevelop blanket areas that are threatened for the community. 
It encourages the involvement of private enterprise and public partnership. It lets the public know what is being planned in these redevelopment areas, and it guides the city investments in infrastructure to support redevelopment. It also allows the city to negotiate variances and waive many requirements of its existing zoning and de uh, development requirements in order to achieve the optimum economic and aesthetic results for these areas. What's the process? You draft up the urban redevelopment plan, you hold a public hearing, which is going to be on October the 8th. You adopt the plan, you appoint an uh, organization of Urban Redevelopment Authority, and you implement the plan. <coughs> Excuse me. This has been partnered with the Northwest Georgia Regional Commission and the Pauley County Economic Development. <coughs> The City of Hiram would like to acknowledge the work of Jamie Gilbert of the Paulding County Economic Development Organization and his interest and his continued commitment to Hiram, as well as Julie Meadows from the Northwest Georgian Regional Commission for the combined efforts in, in identifying these redevelopment areas and the opportunities within the City of Hiram. And Mark, our new Wells Star Hospital. <laughs> opening in March of 2014. This new facility, it's going to be a state-of-the-art hospital, which will serve not only Paulding County residents, but others from surrounding communities. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> so, I'm getting very, very close. So what is Hiram? It is made up of a team of 46 individuals. Six elected officials, 18 public safety officers, two canine dogs, seven public works, three court specialists, five GCI techs, and four admin members. Um, yeah, and one other gentleman, our head honcho over here, Mr. Robbie Rockovitz. Could you please observe? <laughs> Robbie, on behalf of the City Council of Hiram and myself, we'd like to thank you for all the work you've done in this past year. I know that sometimes it can be challenging working with individuals with so many different personalities, but you managed to make it work, and we wish you continued success. To my husband, Dave, thank you for your continued support. I know that Robbie works with a lot of individuals who have a variety of personalities, but when I come home at night, I'm the only one that walks through that door, and sometimes I might act like Sybil. And for you that don't know, when I said this to Robbie, he said, oh, is that Sybil Shepherd?" I'm like, no. You know, it's Sybil. In 1976, Sally Fields had a movie out about Sybil, the lady with seven personalities within her. Well, some days when I walk in the house after being at zip home, my name is Sybil. So, thank you. There's one other person I like to thank, and that's Cynthia Geyer. She's sitting over here to our right. She's our city clerk. Thank you for everything you do for the city, but most of all for me today. I, uh, we were working on this PowerPoint at 9.30 this morning, <laughs> so it was a way to go. If it would have been for her today, we would not have that done. And I would like to say that I'm really grateful for what you do, so thank you. In closing, I started, uh, I stated before the municipal government can be compared to the changing of wheels on a moving train. The train keeps rolling day and night, and it is our challenge to keep that train moving and the wheels keeping going forward, like in our city logo. As Woodrow Wilson once said, if you want to make enemies, try to change something. You know why that is? To do things today exactly the way we did them yesterday saves thinking. It also, you've acquired the habit. You know the routine. You don't have to plan anything ahead. But it frightens you to know that you'll have to learn how to do something different in a different way tomorrow. But with progress, some changes can occur, and in order to move forward, these changes have to happen. Please remember, another plug for our air shift for this weekend. Uh, it's gonna be a great time. And thank you again. Until next year, may Paulding County, the city of Dallas, 
and the city of Howard have continued success.